Hi, Ivan. Hello. Um, I would like to know um, how much of yourself are we seeing on your blog? Mm. I read somewhere that you're not really interested into, um, you don't really care about what you're wearing, you're not that much of a styler and you're not like, oh, this would fit the pants perfectly, I need this and this accessory. The pants? The pants. Trousers. I don't know what's the pants, no, 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 that, that I wouldn't, I don't care about my pants. Yes. I care about my pants. No, maybe... No, maybe you, you okay. You, you maybe have like a very um, messy information, but no. What what I, I said often is that I'm not a fashion obsessed. I'm not a fashionista. I don't know. I don't spend hours on style. Come checking the last collections of Paris Fashion Week, and I, I, I like fashion more as a form of uh, of creativity, ex personal uh, expression. I like the idea of uh, like like more like a cultural. Um, sort of indicator of what's going on. I like the idea of like like sociological uh, sort of uh, indicator of how individuality is um, sort of, sorry, I'm sorry, it's not very, very intense, sorry, I, I take it again. Okay, okay, it's true that a lot of people, no, no, sorry, it's true that I often say in interviews that I I don't care so much about fashion in the way that I am not obsessed. I don't. I'm not a fashionista, and I don't follow every single show on style.com. But I, I, I'm interested in, in any form of creativity, including fashion, but more in the way that real people on the field interpret what they buy and the way they express themselves as individual versus like meant to be more globalized society. So more like cultural, sociological aspects or, or creative as well but I mean the, the, the proper brand thing collection thing I mean it's fun I mean I, when I go to fashion it's more like a I mean I like to, to get the vibe I like to to have a good time but I'm not like this freak who want to who are excited to, to know what's the, be the new collection okay thank you um, the other question is if you're if you're in the field of um, online media, why are you taking the step of making a manifesto of your work in a very traditional mm. media form with the book? Is it like back to the future for you, the book, as a media? Well, I, I think there's nothing very special and surprising about working on internet and printing. I mean, I guess it's the, the combination of digital and, and paper is nothing special, nothing new. and I guess a lot of of publication are obviously focusing on, on on online versions and printing less, but they would print less often, but print amazing uh, issues. So I, I think it's the same for bloggers. I mean, I, I, I'm not trying to say that the future of information is is printed. Of course not. I, I I'm a digital person, and I do do read mostly digital text and information so I just think that as a, as a complement and in contrast to our life where we spend all our time like like literally stuck to screens it's somehow interesting beautiful ironic fun exciting just to have some kind of physical relation with with an image and I think it's like as well I mean, I mean it's you know I, I I just launched my book less than two months ago and we were already reprinting the book so I, I didn't know before we started to, to, to sell the book if it would work or not because I, actually on one hand in a very rational way every single picture in the book is available on my blog so people can just do a folder on, on the desktop of their computer and say okay this is the book of Face Hunter and I'm not stupid I want to buy it but it's not I think it goes beyond the idea of, of the information it's like a pleasure of owning uh, like for real a piece of someone you follow for like maybe a few months or years and I don't know I guess people I guess bloggers I'm not talking about me in general especially in general I guess um, a lot of readers uh, ha create somehow a, a strong relation with the bloggers and the blogs they follow and I mean yeah they just want they feel close from them so 
when finally something else than just the blog appear, they want to get it. So I guess it's a it's a healthy, interesting uh, alternative. As long as it's exceptional, I don't say I'm gonna print a magazine every week. But. Okay. Um, the last question is, um, what's next for you after this book? Is there a part two of the book? I, uh, I mean, a lot of things are meant to happen. I mean, I guess I might do other books. I mean, if, if I mean, we'll see if people enjoy the book. We have to wait, see think, decide, <laughs> I mean, yeah, if, if it seems like that a lot of people think it's cool to buy a book of a blogger, I, I've been enjoying it, and if people enjoy buying it, I mean, why not doing another one, and I think it will happen probably, and then, you know, I'm doing another blog since, like, last summer, it's called Ivan Rodic, it's like a visual diary where I don't show exclusively street style, but any kind of stuff that is inspiring or interesting or beautiful or strange. And I, this is kind of a more like open work. It's much more like photography oriented. I think Face Under is not about photography. It's more like a um, edit. It's more like a editing work. I mean, so to like choose a specific kind of aesthetic than to do beautiful photography. And I think the other one is more like a photography work that would as well maybe uh, one day end up being a book. I don't know. That's an option. I don't know. And I'm I'm about to launch a uh, iPhone application and Face Hunter. Well, that's just something and then um, I mean I, I'm I would like to be able to restart my web TV show the face center show something that I've been doing like two years ago like between two and one years ago uh, I was at the beginning with my space and then I've been doing it on my own and then it has been complicated to finance it so it's been like kind of a like a down somehow for a few months and now I'm like talking with new partners and sponsors so hopefully it will be back because I, I really um, believe that in general for bloggers there's like a huge um, future in videos obviously you, you're filming and uh, no, I think that I mean besides the fact it's more available and easy I guess it's time for more videos and uh, no, in, in, in my and for me as well I, I feel like there's much more to experiment and to much more stories to tell so I, I really hope to, to do much more like the show and other things that are more like video oriented, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.